Despite spending 10 times more budget on its defence than Pakistan, India has miserably failed to dominate its seven times smaller neighbour since 1947. Pakistan practices a smartest form of real politic, developing a wide spectrum of destructive tools from proxy groups to military power. All of these tools are utilised for the defence of its territorial integrity. From proxy war to nuclear war, India has to consider a wide array of contingencies it could face from the Islamic Republic. Here are five of the most dangerous things about Pakistan that India fears. Number 1. JF-17 Thunder Jet It is no secret that the Pakistani Air Force is one of the best in the world. They have outclassed their adversaries from time to time, be it successful operations against insurgents pinning down Soviet-backed Afghan Air Force, PAF, has surprised the world with their unique abilities. Most of the Indian combat aircrafts are Russian-made. They are relatively unreliable and have a poor serviceability, whilst Pakistan has developed its capability with a dangerous blend of Chinese and Western technologies. A single-engine multi-role fighter, the JF-17 Thunder, was jointly designed by China and Pakistan. 300 JF-17s may be built for the PAF, a significant upgrade over the existing old Mirage 3, Mirage 5, and Chengdu F-7 fighters. The JF-17 is destined to become the backbone of the Pakistani Air Force's fighter fleet. From air-to-air -air engagement, in-flight refueling capability, to a laser designator for ground attack, this fighter jet has an extensive suite of features common to modern fighters. The JF-17 has five weapons hard points that can carry a total of 8,000 pounds of fuel, equipment, or munitions. Air-to-air -air weapons are containing PL-5 and PL-9 infrared missiles. For beyond visual range engagements, the JF-17 is equipped with a PL-12 active radar homing missile. Air-to-ground weapons are less well known but would likely include various forms of unguided dumb bombs, laser-guided bombs, rocket pods, precision-guided missiles, and anti-ship missiles. The PAF already maintains the kill ratio of 3 to 1 against India in all of their wars. While India has a numerical advantage, Pakistan simply enjoys the quality factor with the addition of this monster. Number 2. Khalid-class submarines Pakistan's most useful naval assets against India are its three Khalid-class diesel-electric attack submarines. These submarines alone could practice an anti-access area denial strategy of their own against an Indian Navy attempting to impose a blockade on Karachi and ports west. These submarines are modernized versions of the French Agosta-class submarine, but relatively smaller in size. They have been fitted with an air-independent propulsion system, allowing them to stay submerged, where they are difficult to detect for greater periods. Their torpedo launches French-made ECAN F-17 Mod 2 wire-guided torpedoes and can inflict heavy damages to the Indian Navy. 3. Al Nasser Tactical Nuclear Weapon After the failure of Operation Parakram, which was conducted during the Indo-Pak 2002 border skirmishes, India developed a new war doctrine known as the Cold Start. This strategy was to invade Pakistan from its southern part with integrated battle groups and dislocate it from the center. This area of Pakistan is not well guarded as compared to Punjab and Kashmir borders, hence India wanted to take advantage of its numerical strength in this area. However, Pakistan was quick to develop a more destructive response by developing tactical nuclear missiles which many believe has poured cold water over the Indian Cold Start Doctrine. The Nasser is similar to China's AR-1A A-100E conventional rocket artillery system, while the rocket itself is unremarkable, designing and manufacturing a nuclear warhead for such a small weapon system presents its own hurdles. The missile can carry nuclear warheads of appropriate yield with high accuracy. 
it will be deployed against the Indian invading forces and can hit the targets within Pakistani borders, which means huge number of Indian battle groups would simply disappear in smoke and prevent the nuclear option for India, as the targets would remain within Pakistani territory. As the old saying goes, if you want peace, prepare for war. Al Nasser is giving nightmares to those desiring for war. 4. Burak, UCAV. Pakistan developed its own predator drone, which has been successful against anti militant operations. Burak will offer another challenge to the Indian forces during the low intensity conflict. 5. Hybrid warfare. According to many Indian and American scholars, Pakistan has mastered the art of the hybrid warfare. Hybrid warfare is a new entrant in the art of modern warfare. It involves conventional capabilities, propaganda, diplomacy, insurgency, and technology. These methods aim to disrupt and disable an opponent's actions without engaging in open hostilities. The recent Indo-Pak 2019 conflict is a perfect showcase of the hybrid war. On the 14th of February, an IED blast killed 50 Indian soldiers in Indian-held Kashmir. The attack saw explosives packed inside a van rip through buses in a convoy of 78 vehicles carrying some 2,500 Indian soldiers. Kashmiri resistance groups claimed responsibility for the attack. The very next day, India accused Pakistan for the attack and said it would give a strong response to the attackers. Meanwhile, Pakistani Prime Minister stated that any misadventure would receive a befitting response from the Islamic Republic. On February 26, Indian fighting jets violated Pakistani airspace during the nighttime. Pakistan Air Force immediately scrambled, forcing Indian aircrafts back to their territory. But just a few minutes later, the Indian side started claiming to have killed 250 to 300 militants on the Pakistani side. This claim was rejected by not the international forums but also by the Indian opposition parties who demanded their government to provide the evidence. However, Pakistan reacted the very next day in broad daylight by violating the Indian airspace, dropping bombs a few kilometers away from the Indian military headquarters, luring the Indian jets to follow them. As soon as the Indian aircrafts crossed the Pakistani airspace, while chasing the PAF jets, the other team of PAF shot down the two Indian aircrafts and captured one Indian pilot alive. The day is fantastic. Thank you. The Indian side was so much in panic that it accidentally shot down its own military chopper, mistaking it as an enemy, and as a result, six Air Force personnel were killed. Pakistan used aggressive diplomacy to internationalize the Kashmir dispute, while India could not escalate any further. The use of a non-state actor and costing India its 50 valuable soldiers, provoking an ineffective response, shooting down of at least one confirmed Indian fighter jet, arresting the pilot and parading him on the international media to hammer India psychologically, frustrating India to shoot down its own aircraft costing it a further six casualties and eventually internationalizing the dispute through diplomacy and propaganda. It was a classic hybrid operation by Pakistan. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to Fahad Kahoot for more videos.